do. Oh, I'm gonna lose my voice again. There we go. This weekend. All right, ladies oh. and gentlemen, we are getting this underway. What? Losers' uh, quarters. Losers' quarters. Are you still in it? Uh, I'm trying oh, to adjust. No, he things. beat you, didn't he? Nope, I'm out. Yep. So Dibs versus Ragman, losers' quarters here, getting underway. Dibs actually opting for the Charizard here. Very, very uh, interesting choice. He's done this before, but we saw it last time. It just didn't seem to work out that well. I was gonna say, him. I don't think against this, like he should just go with what he's comfortable with. Oh, uh, he should have gone with Belly Bump. So Belly Bump into probably double Belly Bump. Yeah, but it looks like he's doing all right right now. Like he's got a decent amount of control over the matchup. So. That's not bad. All right, so the defense debuff is applied to Dibs right now. He's got to be careful about how he approaches Ragman. But man, Seismic Toss. So you you play the you play this character. You know the matchup. What do you think about this in general? Uh, I feel like if oh man, <laughs> if Ragman can set up his traps properly, get those get that defense debuff on. Oh, oh that could be bad. Oh, that's uh -oh. that's it. So yeah, Bragman needs to be able to put his defense debuff on. Uh, he needs to be able to apply those combos that Sin does so well, Sintai. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he, he just does a fantastic job, really. So that's what Bragman needs to apply. He needs to apply a lot of the traps, and he needs to constantly be making Dibs second guess himself. Because you're thinking, okay, well, now he's gonna counter. Now he's gonna, you know, see, so right there, setting up a trap, getting that counter ready for that fire punch. Stuff like that is what's really big. Okay. Ooh! Uh, I actually thought he was gonna be just out of range of the uh, Umbreon. All right, Ragman controlling this round a little better for himself. Yeah, definitely feeling himself a lot more in this fight. But man, a nice Flare Blitz coming out. Already doing a nice little chunk of percent here. All right, he does go. have that defense debuff on. Septile combos. Oh! Avoids the reset. Double burst coming out from both players here. <laughs> oh, uh, that's, that's it. Awkward. Yeah, but he's not dead yet. He's not out. Massive damage coming out here from Dibs. He just barely has a little bit of health left for both players, actually. Uh, <laughs> Leaf Blades. Lots of leaves. And Dibs still... Or, uh, oh. oh! Did he press it? Oh, oh, just barely missed bad. it. Oh, that's, oh, oh my gosh, so one close. HP. That's it. Oh, all right. Beautiful job coming up from Ragman there, getting that solid hit connection. Yeah. That, that was so weird there. All right, so we're getting into the final round of game number one here already. See, that's something that's really weird about Dibs. He's, he's, he's very fire blitz, flame blitz heavy. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, that's such an odd... Ragman's not punishing it either. Like... No, it's, it's not. Because it is punishable, but it's... He also has the best ability to crit with it. He's got, um... Jeez. That was beautiful. Leaf Storm? Fuck, can't remember. Oops. Can't remember the name of the move. 8A. Uh, so it's Leaf, Leaf Storm. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? I'm so tired right now. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just happy to have you by my side, bud. All right, so the seismic toss into burst. burst. Confirm, this might actually be the game. Is it? Uh, he might have like one HP left. Oh, no, game. That's it. So that's game. So all right, game one goes to Dibs. Very, very nice job from Dibs, showing his new Charizard roster, uh, his addition to his roster. Very, very nice job. Now, how do you feel about his Charizard compared to yours? Well, there's a lot of, like I said, each player, or I haven't said this, but. A lot of players have different play styles. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it works for them, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Dibs just picking up this character, you know, he's doing a good job so far. It's, he needs to incorporate Belly Bump more into his combos because double be either Belly Bump into Seismic Toss or uh, Belly Bump into Belly Bump. You can actually do a lot of damage off of the belly bumps. But right now, he is very, very reliant on the fire moves themselves. Fire punch. And, you know, when I first started, what I do a lot, fire punch. Oh, yeah. So, you, that's yeah. the reason why you had such a hard time trying to approach me when we played. Right. Because, and then you'd chandelier swing, and I couldn't get in. Or I'd just duck. That, too. <laughs> so, I mean, so there was a lot of different problems 
that I had when I first picked up Charizard. I still have a really big habit of jumping a ton and just dive kick. So jump, dive kick, jump, dive kick, jump, dive kick. But because I found that it was, it, to me, it feels like such a solid move. We don't really see that from from dibs a lot. We see a lot of the, the flame attacks. And you know, that's how I kind of started. So he's going to work his transitions in into, uh, I feel like, a more solid play style eventually. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see. Did you see what support? I saw Ragman made some kind of change. I did not he catch backed that. backed out, so we'll see. Okay, okay so, so he did Snivy. All right, he did see that Peachy was using Snivy before. Do you think that change was because of the matchup Peachy had with you? Um, I feel like just Snivy in general really hurts Charizard. If you're not ready for the Snivy itself, uh -huh. you so then you're going to get caught in it. But if you can react fast enough, you can... Glide like if you're Ooh, you can really cancel cancel dive kick into glide backwards to mm -hmm. avoid Snivy, but it's really tricky timing. And it already right, looks well, like got him pressed up against the corner. Ooh. Oh, oh all right, that's a punish. It. What? Oh, nice job from Dibs here. I don't think he meant to cancel into that before, and he just went with it. <laughs> it's like yeah, I planned that. He's <laughs> like totally 100% me. <laughs> All right, here comes the the gravy train, but he actually whips it. Drops it. it. Ooh, really good reaction there. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's just, it's very, very uh, difficult to avoid that. He did that a little way, way too <laughs> early. Getting that Tarzan swing in there, but he's actually getting caught out by the Dragonite. Good attempt from Dibzo to, to try and catch up on that. It would have been interesting if he could have comboed off of that. Ragman is... Uh, He's doing a lot of Tarzan swings, and I feel like that's going to leave him open. You know what's funny is Ragman's doing these combos. I don't think that he knows there's a just frame on that swing. Well, where you can... It pops them over his head if you just frame it. Oh, okay. I don't think he realizes oh, that's that. Death. That's death. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right, so that's two out of three. Is it out of five? Nope. That's it. No, it's out of... Th it's